it going? Marty here with GuitarJams.com. You can sign my email list and I'll send you a free ebook which will have all the chord diagrams and beginner scales that you want to start learning guitar. You can do that. It's very helpful. Get a lot of good feedback on it. I'm going to teach you this song right now. Here we go. Alright, there's a few different parts. There's the single note line that I just played in that little demo. There's a verse and then there's a chorus and then there's also kind of a bridge or a chord sequence that is the end of the song. So I'm going to go through each of those parts and I'm going to give you a rhythm pattern as well. So the verse is an A major chord and these are all in that free ebook. So we've got this A major chord which is all three on the second fret of this uh, D, G, and B string here. So we got that. We go one, two, three, four. Then I target my middle finger to the third fret of the low E and I form what's called the G chord. We do four counts on that. Then we're going to do eight counts on the D chord. We target our index finger on the second fret of this G string right here. And then the other fingers form. And we're going to do eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have this. Just like that. Now we're going to work on the rhythm. And you can keep, you can vary this rhythm, but I'm going to give you a rhythm to start with. And then you can um, pretty much play this rhythm the whole song. section, same rhythm, and we're going to do G, Do. One rhythm pattern to A for one rhythm pattern. Then a D for one rhythm pattern. To a G for one rhythm pattern. So that's the chorus. Sorry, the next time around it's a G, A, D, G, and then you just got to get the fourth fret of the low E as a build in back to the A. So it's like, uh, So you have this little bridge section. And then you have cut chords underneath that. So what you could do is you could do that same rhythm pattern or... The easiest thing to do is going to be to take that rhythm pattern that I already taught you and splice it in half between A and D. chord for a lot longer. Let me show you 
way to get that little bass line in with the chords. Just a little trick, it's kind of cool. You can play your A chord with your finger flat across. And really emphasize just the open A and the D string. And we're gonna go like this. So we're gonna add our ring finger to the fourth fret of the A string. Then a D chord. And pinky on the fourth fret of the D. And then the open G, so we have to take our index off. And then, you know, it's just a trick you can add. You don't have to do it, but watch. Now those same, the notes on the guitar exist all over the neck, so I just used my ear and figured out the melody. I'm going to keep it in one hand position, um, but it doesn't mean that he might you know, be playing it in a different spot, but it's the correct notes. So we're going to go uh, on the 6th fret of the G string, like that, and I'm using my ring finger, because then I'm going to go to the 4th fret on the same string with my index. Then I'm using my pinky to go to the seventh fret of the D. Then kind of the same rhythm now, middle finger on the fifth of the D. Same rhythm as the first note. Then I'm gonna hit one time pinky on the seventh fret of the D. So, so far we have one time on the fourth of the G, right after that. Then we're going to go middle finger to the fifth of the A. Up. And it's a four, five, four on the D, so we got. 